What's up everybody? I am Heath. This is the Minor Boys. Long time no see and I apologize for that. It's a lot of my fault. Uh, you know, we had to skip a couple races that we had planned on running because my wife and I bought us a new house. We weren't really looking at the time. We weren't really planning on buying anything. It just kind of hit us in the face. Um, good Lord blessed us. And I know that's used loosely, but it, we, we really were blessed. And I'll, I'll tell you how, you know, here in a minute. Um, but we're going to the racetrack. I just want to show you all this, share this with y'all first before we head to the racetrack. I'm going with Dad. Dad's taking the deuce. We're going to Buckshot Speedway. We're leaving here in just a minute. I'm about to get in the truck. Got to get some chairs out of the barn and, uh, and go. But me and my wife bought a house down in Ralph. My parents are five minutes down the road. The race shop is five minutes down the road. Bo is uh, about a minute down the road. So you can't beat the location. And then we also have 11 acres. So a lot of grass to cut that I need to cut now. Um, the house is a little bit bigger than our old house, but we've got a barn. So it's dirt floors and everything in there. It's three stalls. It's like 36 by 38. So it's huge compared to what I was planning on building at the uh, at our other house. Um, dirt floor and everything so i you know got to save up some money and, and get the uh get the the floor concrete and all that so that's on the list of things to do but um just wanted to get on here tell y'all that we have been going through this process after pike county um now like i said we were blessed with this house because sunday on the way back from pike county um my wife and i were driving back tori and i and we drove by this place, we've driven by this place a hundred times, hundreds of times, thousands of times, never thought twice of it. Well, Tori just happened to say, you know, as we were coming down that road right there, she was like, I really like that place. The way it's up on the hill and the land and everything. I said, yeah, me too. Didn't think nothing of it. The Thursday after Pike, so four days later after she said that, we get a call and a text from a realtor. Um, Next thing we know, we look at the text and it's a listing and it's this house. And it's, I always thought, you know, a place with 11 acres was gonna be way out of our price range and stuff, but it was kind of close to our price range and everything. We came, looked at it Friday. So this is the same, the week right after Pike. Uh, we looked at it Friday, put in an offer on it Friday. We, I don't think we were the highest offer, but the type of loan we had and everything just, happened to work out and they accepted our offer. So um, I think the good Lord was definitely looking out for us. So we were we were very fortunate to get this place and this is really what we wanted. We wanted our own little, little piece of country and that's what we got. I got me a, a shop, well it's a barn, gonna convert to a shop once we get concrete. I guess that's the difference in a barn and a shop, I don't know. But uh, gotta, gotta save up money for that. But, uh, but just I just wanna say big thank you to um to all of our family my family her family you know a bunch of people came down helped us move out my parents we stayed with them for about three and a half weeks before we were able to move in here because we were updating a lot on the inside so big thanks to them for putting up with us uh for, for a while and uh, and also our friends and family that came and helped us move out moved to their place then moved back over here you know we're we we have awesome family awesome friends so but we've been missing in action. I just wanted to kind of touch base with y'all, let y'all know why. Um, apologize to sponsors and stuff that, that we've missed races on that we were hoping to make. But, you know, family always comes first and life comes first. And, you know, me and my wife had an opportunity. We jumped on it. And, you know, I had to put racing on the back burner for, for a couple of months. And uh, hopefully we're going to dig back down and get into some racing now. So dad has gone above and beyond helping us with this place he's been over here when we've been at work um doing just odds and ends helping cut the grass pressure washing the fence or the front of the house just doing a bunch of stuff that i didn't ask him to do and um me and him we had planned on going racing this weekend and i was going to take my car he was going to take the mini stock but there was a little bit of a special race going on at buckshot speedway and i knew he he, he had kind of made it a point that he kind of wanted to go there, but he wanted me to be able to race too. But I just said, no, uh, I said, I'll leave my car at the house. We'll take Deuce to Buckshot, see if we can't win $500. But uh, 
but that's our life update like i said the big barn our house and the big old yard big old trees full of deer so but i gotta go i'm running late i gotta go get meet dad at the house at his house and uh we're heading to buckshot speedway hang on tight we'll be there in just a second First ever trip to Buckshot Speedway. I think this is where we're supposed to go. Guess we get in line. Oh Lord. There's a RTR motorhome, boys. We're in the right spot. Good gosh. I mean, room to park. Oh, All right, we are here at Buckshot Speedway in Clanton, Alabama. Uh, first time here. Uh, first take on it is the pits are very tight. <laughs> we, we squeezed in. Uh, the Franklin saved us a park over here. So we're right here in the middle of a bunch of late models. But uh, the track looks freaking sweet. I just ran up there and kind of took a peek at it just a second ago while dad drew um and it's it's pretty looks pretty racy so i'll go sh i'll go show it to y'all here in just a minute um but we got the deuce here <clears throat> we're running super pony they got a 500 to win tonight uh you know we we had planned on going to thunder valley taking my car and dad's but uh you know he helped us out a lot he kind of said something about this race so i called him one day i said heck i said we'll leave mine at the house i said we'll come down here and let you run you, you know i'll help you out do all that so we're uh we're here these are super ponies ford mustang is what the car is it's a 2.3 four cylinder engine um you can do a bunch to these engines got a uh, aftermarket head on it stuff like that but uh all stock front rear suspension stuff like that for all y'all that don't know a lot about the uh, the Super Pony mini stock class. <clears throat> like I said, pretty stock, kind of all the way around. So there's old Rusty ripping. I like that shirt. There it is, Buckshot Speedway. Track looks fun. What you think? It looks hammered down to me. Yeah. What's it been? I think uh, I looked on the video, so no, it was like nine months ago. Yeah, it's been been close to a year. Been a minute, so. Yeah. Track looks good, though. Looks real good. There you go. Thank you. What's your name? Braylon. Braylon, you want to tell them what to do? Uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Like, subscribe, and comment. There we go. And share. Share. There we go. <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. Good luck tonight. Thank, Thank you, bud. Thank you. All right, just got back from packing. You worn out yet? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you gotta get a breather. What do you think? It looks like a fun track. Looks fast. Feels fast. Yep. Uh, we'll get the starting line up here in a minute on the heat races. We're getting ready for hot laps. I think they go out six, fifth, like six, eight like divisions. So we go out like six. So we'll go up there and watch some laps. And uh, he'll go out for a hot lap. <laughs> Look good. I think it'll be alright. Oh yeah. 
Feel good in there? Yeah, car felt good. I felt good. Uh, I don't know. That's say what did it do? Uh, get around some more cars. Yeah. See what happens. So we roll off fifth in the first heat. Um, let's see. There's, I think, about 15. Uh, I was 17. So okay. So yeah, about 17 cars, I think. Um, so we're in the first heat. Roll off fifth. Um, he should be able to get around a few cars. Possibly get up there and get a get a W. So uh, we got a couple fast cars in there. Uh, a couple cars that hopefully he can get back quick and just kind of get some laps under and get ready for the feature race. So we're getting ready for the heat. Uh, you gonna do anything? Uh, no, we're not gonna tell you nothing about that. Belt's tight. Belt's tight. All right. Let's roll. So we get, we're about to get in, uh, get his air checked, all that good stuff, and then we'll, we'll be ready for the uh, heat race. Dude, go get them. Let's do it. Good luck. Love you. Thank you. Love you. Some fuel in it. Uh, I guess I don't know. We may 
watch the track after these after the late model features and stuff but hey pretty good old jeremy griffin our buddy down there he was fast in the second heat so you're gonna have to get up on the wheel on the beach yeah proud of you good job thank you but we'll uh we'll see what we're gonna do uh maybe get it on the lift take the tires off or something scope them down get some gas in it and uh should be ready to go so wish us luck rolling off on the pole of the 500 to win feature tonight well at this point if we left right now we get home at about 3:45. but we ain't even lined up for the feature this is the part that i do not miss oh six oh twos they took a while um that had a boy that i think he i think he might have hurt his arm or something had to i think he had went in the hot in the ambulance so they had to wait hope he's okay but uh yeah so we've got two more races then dad will go so we're about to go line up here in just a minute all right you ready oh uh, i guess <laughs> getting in for the feature should roll off p1 yep, on the pole there. yep just gotta hold on to it our buddy Jeremy Griffith should be outside bowl, so it, uh, it should be a pretty good race. Hopefully Dad can get out front and hold on to it. We'll take it back to Tuscaloosa. Okay, you go. Good luck, dude. <laughs> Thanks, love you.
bug him about spinning out, but he got a good excuse. <laughs> hey. Well, I'm half to the steering. I don't know. It's, it's locking up almost the same thing that we had earlier. With, uh, he, he fixed it this past week. New quickener, put a different rack on it, and it it didn't do it at all until the picture. Yeah, it done it. I think on the second lap when he was outside of me, it done it, and I said, that's weird, and I didn't know what it was. And then we get back down here to the next turn, and I went when I went to straighten it back up. She was there. It wasn't straight. I was wondering because you weren't that far. Oh, it I didn't drive I was it like, in no was, <laughs> I told Bo. I said, I said, well, he tried to drive off in there and just went to the end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, it's, you did good, dude. I, I think you had something for it. You, yeah. You'd have, y'all have had a good race. Oh yeah. It was fast. Y'all had a real good race though. Yeah. It felt good. I don't know. Well, get it fixed and let me do it again. Well, <laughs> hang on a second, let me see. Three o'clock. If we left now, we'd be home at 4.30. We still gotta load up. <laughs> so, we're getting off here, loading up. This is the part I don't miss. We had to Tuscaloosa. Y'all click the subscribe button for us. Tell Dad you're proud of him. He, he did good, he made me proud. Oh. We, you know, it is what it is. You got an issue, you got an issue, so. But we're gonna, uh, we're gonna load up, get back to us loose. The plan is hopefully why not next weekend with both street stops. So that's the tentative plan. Uh, y'all stay tuned and we'll let y'all know what's going on. Peace.